Devin Harper, man, uh, six round pick last year, ran like a four five something, super athletic, six foot two thirty five. Kind of fits that what we had once called the Dan Quinn mold, right? That linebacker who sub two thirty five and, and runs real fast and is super athletic. That was Devin Harper coming out, um, and he got a shot on special teams. He played 52 special team snaps before uh, he won on IR on October 29th. So between weeks one through three, he was on special teams, and he was playing a good bit. And that's probably where they're going to count on him. When you look at the linebacker room right now, it's thin. So he does have the opportunity to make a name for himself just from a linebacker standpoint, right? It's not a deep room. You got your starter, so I don't think he's going to really crack the starting role, but he can compete to be kind of that third guy as we speak right now. But the more immediate way he can contribute to this team and solidify himself is with special teams. Luke Harper is no longer here. Luke Harper, rest in peace. Luke Gifford is long, is no longer here. He's off to Tennessee. Uh, and that left that spot open for a young guy to take it. That's what the Cowboys like to do. They, why do you think Luke Gifford stayed around so long? It wasn't because he was out there killing it on defense. It was because he was a integral part of that special teams unit. And he was, ma- he was making plays on that special teams unit. Devin Harper was a quality special teams guy coming out. And if he can solidify himself on special teams, I think that'll help give him an opportunity possibly next year to be a part of the linebacker rotation. Um after LVE, after Damone Clark. And if somebody goes down, as we speak right now, there is no Anthony Barr. So Devin Harper has a major opportunity here to be a core special teams guy and a real depth guy in the linebacker room. 